What I love about this painting is just its sheer energy. And what this painting has is the terror and anarchy and violence of the battle. It's arguably the greatest Indian picture of the defeat of colonialism that survives. It's a, it's a unique and, and, and fantastic artwork. So in the 18th century, India is in anarchy. The Mughal Empire, which has dominated the subcontinent for 200 years, has, has broken into a million pieces. And one of the strongest new states is the Mysore state of Hyder Ali and his son, Tipu Sultan. What you're seeing in this picture is Hyder's son, Tipu, as a young man for the first time, uh, getting his own command. Tipu Sultan was probably the most effective opponent that the East India Company ever faced. Tipu showed that the Indians could fight back, that they could win, that they could use European tactics against the Europeans and defeat them. The first time that a European army is defeated in India is this battle, Polilu. It's a fabulous painting. It's full of energy, it's full of life, it's full of action. Hyder Ali is at the top of the picture, an older man sitting on his war elephant surveying the scene. But Tipu is larger than his father, although he's the son, uh, and his father is ultimately in charge. And Tipu is shown as very handsome, as a beautiful young man, has a flower, has a rose uh, in his hand, which he's sniffing. Uh, and he has on his torso uh, this tiger-striped shirt or, or, or pajama, uh, which was the, the mark of, of, of he and his elite troops. And he manages to ambush Colonel William Bailey, who's a Scots Highlander, newly arrived in India, he's only been in India a few months, with the Highland Regiment. Uh, and they arrive in India and immediately get plunged into this terrible situation. The centre of the painting is the British Square. Bailey, who's been wounded that morning and is now in a palaquin being carried around because he can't stand, touches his mouth with the finger of astonishment, which is the, the Persian phrase that is used over and over again at this period to describe the horror of the British seeing their own imminent destruction. He is captured after this battle. This painting is about 10 meters, 32 feet long. It's spectacular colors, spectacular detail. Every single face you can see, even in these rather sort of gory moments when, for example, someone is decapitated and, and their head flies off and the blood gushes out of their, the, their neck. Every little detail of the, of the physiognomy is there. It's very sort of cinematic, very Bollywood. It's unclear when this artwork was created. Ironically, the painting that we have now may well have been commissioned by Europeans copying the mural that Tipu put up on his summer palace, Darya Daulatbag, in Sri Rangapatnam, uh, near Mysore. This was Tipu's first great victory. And it wasn't just his first great victory, it was really the first time that Indian forces managed to really defeat a major European force in the field. There is simply no better picture of an 18th century battle in India surviving. This is the great masterpiece, it's, and it's also in a near perfect condition. It's, the colors are completely vibrant, the detailing is astonishing. You can just see every single individual face, uh, the horror, the excitement, the bloodlust.